In this video, we'll take a look at all the latest iPhone 15 news, leaks, and conjecture to piece together a broader and fuller picture of what the iPhone 15 will be like ahead of its release during the back end of 2023. As ever, there will be multiple models including a potentially brand new, ultra premium model, as well as the usual base model variants and Pro and Pro Max versions. There will also be a new chipset, potential changes to how Dynamic Island works, and perhaps even some design changes too iPhone 15 models, how many will there be? For the last couple of years, Apple has released several models inside each of its new iPhone generations. We had 4 iPhone 12 models, 4 iPhone 13 models, and 4 iPhone 14 models. The iPhone 15 shouldn't be any different with 4 models inside the range. There are currently multiple reports online discussing iPhone 15 Ultra and iPhone 15 Flip both of these new iPhone models complete with official patent documents and leaks from apparent Apple insiders. Of course, whenever you're talking about brand new, completely different iPhone models, you have to take things with a pinch of salt. But what is the deal with Apple's iPhone 15 Ultra and iPhone 15 Flip? Let's take a look at each model in more detail and see what's actually going on. The iPhone 15 Ultra Nothing is currently officially known all about the iPhone 15 Ultra save for the fact it will be kind of like the iPhone 15 Pro Max just with more bells and whistles eh, and a higher price tag too. As of right now, there are differing views on where the iPhone 15 Ultra will sit inside Apple's iPhone 15 lineup. One source, Mark Gurman, believes the iPhone 15 Ultra will replace the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And this sentiment is backed up by analyst Ming Kai Kuo who claims the Ultra model switcheroo is a natural extension of what Apple is already doing. What is currently unclear, however, is what would make the iPhone 15 Ultra earn its new Ultra branding. More specifically, it is currently unclear how will Apple make it different enough from the iPhone 15 Pro to warrant the name change A Ultra sounds more impressive than Pro Max, but it'll have to have core new features to be taken seriously. Reports suggest it could be the first iPhone to carry Apple's custom modem which could unlock faster more efficient 5G speeds that it will feature a periscope lens in its camera module and, finally, that it could be the first iPhone to get a major design change in the last several years iPhone 15 Flip The idea of a foldable or flexible iPhone is not new. People have been claiming Apple will release a foldable iPhone for several years now. And while there is plenty of evidence to back this up, Apple has filed multiple patents for foldable iPhones. We've yet to see any inkling that the company views foldable phones as a profitable enterprise. Apple isn't stupid. It knows that Samsung has plowed billions into its foldable phones and has, despite many attempts, failed to capture any sort of meaningful market share with its phones. For 99% of people, the current range of foldable phones on offer are just too expensive. Whether there is an appetite for a foldable iPhone remains to be seen, but one interesting avenue Apple could explore is effectively merging its iPhone and its iPad mini into a sort of hybrid device. But again, Apple is well aware of how poorly Samsung's foldable devices have sold to date iPhone 15 Dynamic Island Most sources seem to agree that all iPhones inside Apple's iPhone 15 lineup will run Dynamic Island and always on displays. This trickle-down of Pro features to standard models in the iPhone 15 range is great news for anyone running an iPhone 13. But will there be any changes to how Dynamic works or functions? Given how much emphasis Apple placed on Dynamic Island during the iPhone 14's launch, I don't see the company messing with the formula too much in 2023. Dynamic Island, like Face ID before it, will become a de facto iPhone feature, of course, but its functionality and what it does will likely remain the same on the iPhone 15 as it was on the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max iPhone 15 CPU Apple started a new and rather bizarre trend with the release of the iPhone 14 it split up its CPU access. The Pro models got Apple's new A16 CPU, while the base model iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus got the iPhone 13 Pro Max's A15 CPU. Given Apple's bunch on for being a stickle at trends it establishes for itself, I'd expect this to continue with the iPhone 15 range. If it does, 
it will mean the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus will run the iPhone 14 Pro Max's CPU and the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max will run Apple's new A17 CPU. If there is an Ultra model, it could run a tweaked version of the A17, one with an additional GPU core for example. Sources claim Apple's A17 CPU will be a 3 nanometers chipset, the smallest ever fitted inside an iPhone. This will make the A17 not only significantly more power efficient than the A16 but also more powerful too. How much more powerful will the A17 be over the A16? Again, nothing is known right now but given its smaller size, we could be looking at some pretty serious performance boosts. iPhone 15 Price When it comes to the price of Apple's iPhone 15, again, nothing is ever official until Apple debuts them on stage during its annual keynote address. But given the company's pricing structure in recent years, and the fact that millions of people are currently feeling the pinch, I don't think there will be too many surprises with regard to the iPhone 15's price. If I were a betting man, which I am, I'd wager the iPhone 15 will start from $799 with the iPhone 15 Plus at $899. The iPhone 15 Pro will start at $1,099 and the Pro Max and Ultra at $1,299. Again, this is for the base level storage options. If you want more storage, like 1TB on the Pro models, you'll be looking at considerably more money. The only real question about Apple's iPhone 15 price structure is whether there will be an iPhone 15 Ultra and how it will fit inside the lineup. Will the iPhone 15 Ultra replace the iPhone 15 Pro Max or be a separate entity that joins Apple's other iPhones in the iPhone 15 range? As of right now, it is too early to tell iPhone 15 release date. Apple's release date schedules for its new iPhones is pretty predictable. New iPhones are launched in and around September with release dates following shortly thereafter. If Apple follows the same path with the iPhone 15, and it almost certainly will, the iPhone 15 will be announced in and around September 2023 with a release date following later on in the month or inside early October 2023. As always, iPhone 15 pre-orders will ship first in order to give early adopters first dibs on the phone, and then, following this brief period of exclusivity, the iPhone 15 range will go on sale across the entire market. If you want to know about all the leaks and current news about smartphones and technology, then go to the page of this channel and watch all our videos.